Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about and describe combat for the game. And what I've got here is I've got my uh, board set up and the tables ready that I'll be showing, the playing sheet. Now I've put them on the table here to help talk about them. You wouldn't actually necessarily put the, t the, ch the tables across the map and you wouldn't put the, the, the playing sheet across the map. But for the sake of the video, just to talk about the mechanics, I've laid it out in this manner. Um, in this example, I've got my four uh, P-47s and this aircraft here, plane number two, has an encountered enemy aircraft in um, that zone. And they've done that as a result of when they've gone into that zone, they've rolled on the zone events table and there's enemy aircraft there. And there's a separate video that explains um, when you enter a new zone, the process, the steps you go through. And as a result of that, we've got enemy aircraft here. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about actually the combat resolution. Um, the first thing you're going to do is your, your, you know what the confidence of your um, pilot is. And you need to establish the confidence level of the enemy. And you would do this for every enemy that you encounter. And to do that, you roll on this enemy confidence table. Um, two dice as normal, um, got some dice here, and you uh, roll the dice to determine. And for the sake of argument in this video, for, the, for our purposes, we're going to say that the enemy confidence is of a medium on this table here. Now, when it's a medium, we are placing two enemy hit counters and two enemy miss counters into our cup. So I've got my cup here. It's just off shot. There it is. And I've got my enemy um, miss counters, two of those and my um, enemy hit counters, two of those as well. So those four counters are going into the cup. There they are, in the cup. I don't know if you can see them, but they're in the cup. Um, and then what I'm go also going to be doing is I will be placing uh, player hit and player miss counters into the cup. And again, that is based on my confidence level of that pilot of the P-47 pilot. So for the sake of the argument, just keep it nice and simple. For the demonstration purposes of this video, let's place two of those in the cup. Now, before I place them in, and this is an important step, I can, if I wish, spend a confidence point from that pilot to remove a miss counter. So that means there's one less player miscounter going in the cup. I can, if I spend another point, add a player hit counter. That will mean there's now more player hit counters going into the cup. If I wanted to, I could spend another point and remove an enemy hit counter. Let's do that. So I've removed the enemy hit counter from the cup. There's my cup. So I've removed that from there. And I have spent all the points I can do, so three points. And those will go in there. And I will blindly um, pull a counter, uh, three counters I pull, and that will determine the results of the combat. I get a player miss, I get an enemy hit, and I get a player hit. And that's an important mechanic because I am spending my confidence points that hopefully I have been gaining across the board by moving from zone to zone and encountering enemies, etc. etc. I'm spending one. Um, and it could well be that if I hadn't have spent them, I would not have got a player hit and I've got another enemy hit, for example. Um, 
and for every player hit I will roll on the enemy damaged table so I'll do that first and if I get a um, a 11 to 12 on two dice then I have destroyed the enemy and the enemy would be removed we would still then work out because the enemies have still hit me and the combat is simultaneous I'd still have to work out the enemy hit but I would have destroyed it or what may like more likely have happened is I'm just going to move these out of the way just declutter a little bit what more likely would have happened is that I would have done the medium damage and the medium damage on the enemy aircraft what that does is that reduces their confidence level by one level if they're at low confidence you can't go below below low so it stays as it is and that what that would mean is the next time or the next round of combat I would be putting less or different numbers of counters into the cup for the enemy so for example that enemy was of medium so he was, he was placing two enemy hit counters and two enemy miss counters if it's low it's just one enemy hit counter and three enemy hit count, uh, miss counters plus when an enemy is damaged if I cause another damage it is removed from the game and then the plane can progress but let's just run with the player hit for a second. So I'm just going to move those. So player hit, I refer to the enemy damage table. I roll on that, see what happens to the enemy. And it's just a couple of dice rolls to get to that point. Now, the enemy did hit me in this example. And um, to resolve that, then we refer to the enemy hits table. The enemy has hit the P47 and we would roll to see how many hits it has incurred um, one two or three hits um, for each one of those hits we would then roll on the P47 damage table to see where the damage has incurred so let's say for example it's a cockpit a left wing well let's say for the sake of um, illustration purposes it, it scores three hits so two dice 10 to 12 results, three hits. Let's say it does that. So I roll on the P47 table three times, and let's suppose we get a fuselage, left wing, and a right wing. I then move these damaged counters here on the plane sheet across. So fuselage, left wing, right wing, for example. And then that is that part of the combat done. If the enemy plane even if it's damaged, if the enemy plane is still in the zone, then we would go through it again. And we would and, and can continue to do so until either all the enemy counters have been removed, or in the unlikely, unfortunate event, that a P.7 is removed. And that would be the combat result. So it may take several turns, depending on how many enemy aircraft or ground forces are in the zone. There's no difference in terms of the enemy aircraft and the enemy ground forces. It all works exactly the same way. Um, now, if um, the if you do lose a P-47, for thematic purposes, there is a pilot bailout table to see um, when being shot down, what happens to the pilot. And it can be that um, they have a good landing um, and they can fly in the next sortie. If you're if you're keeping track of your pilots and the sorties and um, progression in that respect, um, they can fly into the next sortie. Or it can be that they've been it's fatal, and they were either killed in the um, when the plane was shot down, or they were uh, unfortunately um, a fatal result as uh, as a result of bailing out. Um, and in essence, uh, that's a brief overview of how combat works it's a it's a very i've designed it very much to have that level of uncertainty so that's why i've used a, a chip pool system of placing chips in the cup i like that system for solitaire games a lot and also i've introduced this idea of pushing your luck with the confidence spending confidence points to uh, remove or add extra chips in your favor your favor being the p47 pilot's favor um, 
is a, is a good way to try and secure success in combat, but there is a cost. Your confidence will be going down, and it can be that if you, um, as confidence is, is reduced, um, and uh, confidence is reduced when you are when you are um, when you are hit as well, that um, confidence level can be reduced so much that the the um, pilot is that plane is in, inoperable would be removed from the game. Now I am still tweaking and tuning some of the mechanics for combat. So um, at the point I'm making this video, this is how it's currently working. Um, um, but we are still. Um, prototyping or I wouldn't say prototyping but certainly finalizing the specific mass of this mechanic it is one of the core mechanics of the game I am playing it uh, constantly trying out different and making notes of all the results that I'm getting when I'm playing this game solitaire and it's very much a solitaire uh, game for, uh, but so there may be some changes so if you happen to be watching this video after the games come out and what I've said contradicts what's the rules. The rule book is the rule book trumps everything. Uh, what is in the rule book will be how it will be in the game. But hopefully that gives you some understanding at a high level of how combat is resolved in the game. As you can see, it doesn't take it's not too many tables. I'm not um, I wanted this game to be as streamlined as possible and have that level of uncertainty, but also that level of pushing your luck with the pilot confidence. So thanks a lot for watching. As always, any questions? Um, about uh, this mechanic or any mechanics for that matter for the game please um, uh, put something in the comments or any other way of contacting me on the, for example on the Kickstarter page whatever um, there are other videos for all the game core game mechanics in the game so please uh, check those out and thanks for watching as always thank you